Duff, live in the middle of nowhere, and today I'm working on the uh, <laughs> long-awaited for the next video, people thinking I'm giving up on it, which is the wind generator. So, hi Saf, <laughs> you big doughy dog. Uh, yeah, so, wind generator. It's bolted down on the main bolts, got more bolts here. This is the second shaft, which is actually not going to be the second shaft. Well. Actually, if you think about it, this is originally was the second shaft, and that was going to be third. This is now going to be the second shaft, because that gear that's right up there, that there, is going to come out of there. So, that being, I don't know if I'm going to use this still, because I don't have the lathe completely going, and I didn't even test it out, bolted it down. Like, it's right there. It's covered, and all that stuff. Yeah, pile of junk. Got a new window in. Looks better. Okay. My new idea. This is the other shaft I have left. So, with this here, it's a lot longer. Okay? That's actually really long. So, this could be the better prop shaft. I want it here. That ringing is loud. Thanks, Saf. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of loud. It's only because, for me, I have tinnitus. I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this here. I'm going to set it down and do the welding part again on the back side. We'll bring that in the garage. Weld it up that way. It's like this. And I'll just do a couple touches on that side. Make sure I don't get mess up the key thing. And go from there. Um, it won't make a difference with the big one because the chip or sorry, the big one here, or that one. Those won't make a difference. The chain's going to be so long. So this here, this is coming off. So this will not be this anymore. There will be the one chain thing come here, but this is going to be the final drive. That 72 tooth one here will be a final drive, so I have to make a shroud. So bolt plate on here, and then a plate of steel go over top, but it has to be removable for maintenance point point of view so basically I'm, so I'll have it bolt into here and then just have like a plate of steel I've got a lot of sheet metal just make that just also safety because if the chain goes flying or something like that I don't want anything flying off because that would be bad all right Jeff really, really bad all right standard arc welder I'm not using the MIG MIG use, makes too much of a mess I'm not the greatest at uh, welding but and it's been like years but since I touched this thing. That's one essentially, you've seen it will get welded. I'm gonna do the rest of this one and get these done up. This is actually gonna be really hard because I gotta figure out how to get those staying up flush but getting welded in the bottom. So most likely, best thing to do. That's hot. Take one of those things off. See how hard it's gonna be? That's how hard it's gonna be. I'm gonna have to like somehow go in there and get that way. But I gotta put my clamp on it. Okay. Keep it pressed down. So that stays like that. Obviously wearing a glove and then weld the back tip. Give it a little shot, but not too much because you gotta remember the teeth can't get too much weld on it. It's gonna be hard. There you have it. It is all welded. See, I got it all in there too. 
and I got it just enough down where it'll be better. So, that replaces one of these. Or that there. So I'm missing also a little hole there, how there's a key thing. I lost one when the grinding it slid out and rolled down somewhere. Saf, don't be fucking off anywhere. Did not weld the back side to these. Okay, I'm not really worried because it's not a lot of torque. I did, like, it's not a great weld, but it works, okay? That's all that matters to me. If you can do better, good for you. Honestly. And, uh, if you're going to be a douche, I'll just block your ass. Keep your comments to yourself if they're bad, if they're positive, you know? It's consistency and, like, I'm not that great at, the, at this. It got it done. Cheap little freaking uh, Princess Auto fucking welder. No. So that's what we got now. So I'm going to get this downstairs and uh, start reassembling. Hopefully I can get the chain gears completely on and do a full drive setup. Okay, so... I'm making a chain right now. Or, sorry, not a chain, uh, breaking a chain. So I've got to figure out which link. I've already got the link that I want. that back on just make sure there was a master link which is up behind me right now but I don't care for it because I just need this one on there we go I took out that link which I almost lost <laughs> There's the other half of it. Alright, small chain. There we go. That's what I need. And I just put this other one away. There we go. It's a little windy today. I did mess up a bearing. So. Note to yourself, don't, you know, torque down or try to press these out because these are already pressed in, but they're kind of like oval shapes so you can, they, they do move around. Well, now I need another one. So I do want to have it there, but the problem is I need to take out another link. I'll show you. So I've got that link in there, but I don't need that piece. So I need to take that out again. See, that's the thing is, I don't know, I've got to do this. i got to loosen it off one, because you've seen how it is, it doesn't let it. So I'm going to have slack. Wow, wait a minute, that's too much slack. See, this is why you need two hands. Gotta put this back down. Good thing I have a new tripod, so it allows you to watch what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna have a snag. Now, I don't have much space to work with. I could always take washers and put them on the other side which I do have more of. Or better yet, another nut. And bring it up, but I don't have the, the bolt length. Okay, there it is. It is essentially done. Okay, this is just sitting in here doing whatever because I've grinded out a little slot in there in the threads just so it gets in there. I gotta hold it with my one finger. So, uh, I've got to go this way. Nope, other way. <laughs> Mainly because this is still loose. Okay, that chain is loose. That chain is on. That is what you're doing. Okay. 
So one to one is my hand in this thing. You see how that's turning? Turning it faster there. So like when I turn it, it's just and it's gonna start skipping. So in my sense, I am gonna put a, a, a freaking tensioner right there. Sorry, I put a tensioner right there. This is not so bad because there's slots in this here, and I'm gonna slide that backwards. That'll tighten up the one. So these are technically. Oh crap! I didn't put that one on. So where is it? I've got to find it. Ah, uh, right here. See how I touch it a little bit. So that's good. that one piece right here. This has got to go on here. Now it's got to go on flat on the two. It is a pain, and you got to press it in. Okay, can't do that one-handed. That's why I have the vice grips. So you go on it and you just clamp it over. Just using this one as an example, and you just squeeze it on. And I was tapping it with my ball peen, so I'll just loosen that off because I don't want to torque that other one down too much. So just whatever. And then just tapping the uh, additional piece on, the, the flat plate, onto the piece. That's what I did for this one here. It's somewhere here. I'll just find it. Uh, there we go. It's right there. So that piece right here. See, it's a little mangled ish compared to the others, are nice because you have to press it out, press it in. And if you don't press it out right, so don't press out this. See how it's a little off? One side could get pressed out too much and the other side not enough. So I might have to press this pin this on, on this side here. That one in a, back in that way a bit. That is your gearing, okay? That's that's all it is. It's simple. Gonna make a shroud to cover for that for protection, and also for this side. And I'm gonna do something for this, which uh, what was it? Uh, Savorin, Savoris, or I don't know. I can't remember the word. Uh, that word right there. Um, that's the type of fan I'm gonna do. Cause it's simple, and I. No, there's a simple couple ways for it because it's going to turn this way because that's the gearing. So the problem is with that. Watch. Okay. Yeah, that's my problem right now. So that's what uh, has to be tensioned up because it has to go in that way. And I, uh, you know what? I'll show you the, that it does make power. All right, what I have here. It is hooked up to the white wire, okay? So like every plug-in has a positive and negative and all that stuff, and then ground. So that's your positive. The white is positive on this one, and the, and the red right here is the negative, okay? Now, remember, this has to run at 3,600 RPMs, and I have to run this at two cycles per second to get this up to 3,600 RPMs. You're not gonna see a so, whole lot because I'm just gonna roll it slow. See how it is? It is generating. Okay, so that's voltage. So it does work. Uh, let's try amps. You know what? No, I, I can't do amps. Let's see. See, I don't know. What does this do? <laughs> no. It works with the voltage. This is a cheap, simple 200. See? It's just. I'll even bring myself closer in. So you see. but I don't want to mess it up. So I could have the gearing not be 100% proper. It does take a lot of torque. 
So that wind turbine's gonna have to be big. But that's what I got for this part. Since, oh yes. It looks like it's there, but this is the broken bearing one. So I gotta get a new bearing housing. Or bearing completely. So that's just a, like a mock-up. It will sit in place, but it's not permanent. So it's half, who's been laying here sleeping all day. Oh, big stretch. Good girl. We're gonna go inside. We're done. It's not really sunny out. I'll give you something. You're gonna walk through my mess of a house. Well, well I am. I'm not gonna really show you too much, but you got this. Yes. I have new solar panels. That's just a small one, and then there's a tiny little one there. So this is an 80, this is a 20, and these are 350s. This is three of 20 that I'll be putting on the house. So that gives me 7,000 watts. That's a new project. But I'm done. That is the wind generator's gearing setup completely. I'm gonna put a idler new bearing in and pulley. Well, like always, have a good one.